Okay, so in this episode, we're going to talk about how to create our header inside the website. And even though we can actually see the header up here inside our index.html, we can't actually see it inside the browser yet. And that's because we didn't style it. So inside our style sheet, we're going to go ahead and start styling the header. So what I would like to do is underneath all the res uh, reset CSS code that we added in the last episode, I'm going to write a comment saying that this is where my code starts. And the way you write a comment is by writing backslash and then multiply. And then you, in order to close the comment, you write multiply backslash. So it's very simple to do. So in between here, I'm going to say my code, just so I know that this is where my code starts. Underneath here, we're going to start styling our header. So what we're going to do first is we're simply going to style our header by writing out header. So every single header on our website is going to be styled with this styling. I'm going to say space. I'm going to say curly brackets, open and close them. And then in between them, I'm going to add some code. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a width by writing out width colon and then say 100% semicolon. So every single time you write a piece of CSS code, you need to close it off with a semicolon before start writing the next uh, line. So the reason we want to use 100% and not, for example, my, my browser here is 2560 pixels wide, because that's the kind of monitor I'm on. So a lot of people will have a monitor that's um, 1920 wide, because that's their resolution on the screen. Now, if you want this to fit or like be responsive to all kinds of monitors out there, then you're going to have to do it in percent when it comes to the width. Otherwise, it's just not going to, like I said, be responsive. So what we're going to do underneath here is we're going to go ahead and give it a height. We're going to give it a height as 80 pixels, like so. And then we're going to go ahead and just kind of give it a background color so we can see what's going on. So we're going to say background dash color. And then I'm going to give it a um, color code by writing out hashtag 000, which is for black, and then semicolon. I'm going to save it and then refresh our browser. And there we have it. Now, of course, I have actually zoomed in for you guys. I was actually zoomed in 500%, I think. No, 400%, 300%, so you guys could see it. If I were to zoom out at 100%, you guys can see that 80 pixels is not actually a lot. So what we're going to do with this header is we're going to go ahead and put our logo up here. We're going to put a uh, this, uh, title of our site, and we're going to put a menu inside this header. So that's what we're going to do in the next episode. So right now, we do actually have a header, and we can actually see it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next episode.